Chapter 10 of this. Let's see. The favor. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put your asking for a favor. What the fuck does she want? Why are you pushing me in here? I need to talk to you somewhere private. Well, I needed to talk to you somewhere private. Pushing me into a room is probably not the best way to go. You're right. I'm sorry. Did the almighty Jillian Banks just apologize to me? <sighs> Don't get used to it, Dove. What do you want from me? I need your help with something. Which is, when we get back to Philly, I have to go with Carol to meet my new foster family. What does that have to do with me? I'm getting there. Okay, girl, get there. I'm sorry. I was just wondering if you would come with me. You want me to go meet your foster family with you? I've never done anything like this before. I really don't want to go alone. Plus, you're used to this kind of thing. You're not very good at asking for favors. Please, Dove, don't make me go alone. She looked pathetic standing there begging me to come with her after she had just called me a foster freak. <laughs> but in all honesty, I feel bad for her. <laughs> I knew what it was like to be completely alone, to feel like you have nothing or no one, well, and no one in your corner. I didn't want to help her. She'd been a grade A bitch the entire time I knew her, but I couldn't help it. I needed to be there for her. Fine, Jill. I'll come with you. Thanks. Yeah. This doesn't make us friends. I never said that it did, girl. Uh uh. And you still can't say anything to Sean. Don't you need him, Jill? If I was with Sean, if I was with that Sean, I mean, if you were, if well, if I were you, I would want somebody that I love to be there with me. Then why can't you let anyone in? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Killian Dove. I saw your little make-out session. I'm pretty sure you did, girl. Make sure everybody saw it, baby. <laughs> it's not like that. Well, whatever it is, whatever it's like, don't hurt him. What do you... You're talking about him like you know him. I don't. Okay. I'm just giving you my opinion, doll face. Girl, yeah. Don't ever call me doll face again. Girl, like, cause that shit is dead, bitch. Dead. <sighs> so you'll be there? I'll be there for you, Jill. Come on, let's go celebrate with our team. A day later. <laughs> Of course you get the fancy rich foster family. Not my fault that Carol likes me better. You don't get placed in a nice home just because your social worker likes you. Then how do you explain this? Girl, are you nervous? Do I look nervous? Yes, actually you do. Damn it. <laughs> you don't have to hide your feelings around me, Jill. I'm not going to judge you. Were you nervous your first time meeting your foster family? Which one? I've been to like a dozen or so foster homes in the past 12 years. But that's not going to happen to you. How do you know? Look at the look at this house, Jill. I never lived in anything this fancy in my entire life. Why would someone living like this want a foster kid? Honestly, I'm not sure. In my experience, most people take in foster kids for the money. Maybe these guys really want a kid. But I'm not a kid. I'm a teenager and damn near an adult. Okay, whatever, girl. Then if they suck, you only have to deal with them till your 18th birthday. Well, the 18th birthday. <sighs> I think you're starting to like me, Jill. I am not. Whatever you say, Jilly. Don't ever call me that again. <laughs> so you can call me Dial Face, but I can't call you Jilly? Exactly. Fine, Jilly. <laughs> Bitch, because I'm calling you that shit. <laughs> Fuck do you mean? Okay, Jill, I got you all set. Duff, good morning, Carol. What are you doing here? I came to support Jill. I didn't even realize you two knew each other. Bitch, you knew we knew each other, bitch. Bitch, I, okay. 
going to the same school didn't give you a clue. It's a large school and you two don't exactly run in the same crowds. What's that supposed to mean? She's right, you know. The only reason I know who she is is because my boyfriend's dad is obsessed with her. Wow, Jill. I really thought we were bonding there for a second. I tell you, this does not make us friends. Come on, let's just go inside. Um, can I just know a little bit about them first? I don't exactly want to go in there blind. Of course. Their names are Scarlett and Logan Laxter. Scarlett! I like it. Scarlett is, um, the only one home right now, as Logan tends to be away on business a lot. So she's a lonely housewife looking for someone to be a mommy to. Dove Elizabeth Kennedy. What? <laughs> she wanted to know the truth. <laughs> as long as she isn't insane, I'll be okay. Uh, dang it. Uh, should we go inside? Let's do it. And bitch, don't call me by my full government, bitch. You ain't my mother. Knock on a goddamn door. Oh, Scarlett's cute. Scarlett looks like a fucking child. Hi, you must be Jill. Yeah. I see you brought a friend with you. Um, with some class. I should respond. I'm Duff. <laughs> I'm a friend of Jill's. We go to the same school. Duff? It's nice to meet you. Excuse me for a second. Did I say something wrong? I don't think so. Maybe she heard the phone ringing. I know what a phone sounds like, and it doesn't. And it definitely doesn't sound like silence. I'm sorry about that. I just thought I heard the faucet running in the bathroom. I'm a stickler about running water. Noted, I guess. I got a few questions for you, Carol. Of course, I'll need you to get some. I'll need you to sign some things for me anyway. Excuse us for a minute, ladies. Do you think she likes me? Do you really care if she does? I'd rather have her like me than hate me. Of course, I'm sorry. I've never, I just never really cared about the opinions of any of my foster families before, at least not recent ones. So you don't care if Rose likes you or not. Um, truth is, I did care what Rose thought about me. For the first time in a long time, I felt myself being connected to a foster mom. That hasn't happened in a long time. It was making me feel vulnerable. Bitch, tell the truth. Okay, I do care what Rose thinks of me, and I'm surely, I'm really sure, I'm really not sure what that means. Uh, Maybe it means you're starting to feel like you're home. I don't even know what home is anymore. So, what do you think of Scarlett? I think Jill was sensing how vulnerable I was feeling. Thank God she didn't push me any further. I think she seems nice. A little shy, though. She acted like she saw a ghost when we walked in. Maybe she did. Maybe you're haunted. <laughs> <laughs> so, bitch, that would mean she would have to, I don't know, be a fucking medium girl. Crazy ass. Oh, that's exactly what it is. I'm haunted, and your foster mom can see ghosts. Fucking crazy, bitch. <laughs> It's time to go, Dove. What? Why? Because I said so. She doesn't have to leave. Yes, she does. I think you should spend some alone time with Scarlet. We're leaving, Dove. That was weird. I think this bitch know. I think fucking Scarlet know fucking Elizabeth, which is fucking Dove's fucking mother. Okay, I'm really getting tired of people pushing me around. Not my fault you're too stubborn to leave on your own. Why did I have to leave at all? Jill clearly wanted me to stay. You of all people should know how hard it is for someone to adjust to a new foster home. Which is exactly why I think Jill needs some alone time with Scarlett. Alone time is overrated. Just drop it, Dove. Nope, ask why, bitch. I still don't understand why I have to leave. That Scarlett chick didn't seem like... Seem... Didn't seem to like me very much. She's just awkward around new people. Bitch, so she thought it was a good idea to, have, to you know, foster a fucking child? 
people like to get out of their comfort zones every once in a while. Still, I think it's really weird. I asked you to drop it, Dove. And now I'm not asking. I'm telling. No choice. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Great. Now, let's get you home. Phone buzzes. Mm -mm. Dove, emergency at the cafe. Need you ASAP. Actually, I need a ride to the cafe. Perfect. Ooh, what the fuck going on there? Y'all, put a pin in that Scarlet bitch, because I, I need to go back to Scarlet. I need to know what the fuck what was popping with Scarlet bitch, because I feel like, you know, uh, bitch, it's a lot of motherfucking people, bitch. It's a lot of people. And who the fuck is that? Wow, it's super busy in here. No wonder Sierra needed me. Oh, thank goodness you're here. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it so busy in here? I'm not sure. I'm guessing the lunch rush. Uh, uh, the lunch hour rush. Why do you seem so calm right now? And where's your uniform? Here, go put this on. Is that the new uniform? Oh, no. Okay, whatever. Why am I wearing your uniform? I need you to cover my shift. What? <laughs> You're leaving me alone with all these people? You can handle it. I trust you. Okay, just fucking agree. Whatever, bitch. I disagree. Fine, whatever, but you owe me. Deal. Sierra, are you ready? What? Duff, I didn't know you'd be here. Yeah, I'm guessing you didn't. <laughs> This is not working out at all how I planned. You're not the best with secrets, with secrets Sierra. <sighs> Max and I are, uh, we're going on today. That's great. I'm excited for you guys. Why didn't you just tell me? I just didn't want you to be upset. Why would I be upset? I don't know. I thought maybe you liked him. Girl, what? Like Marks, bitch. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Why are you calling him Mark? Anywho, sorry, Max. I didn't mean it like that. I have enough boys on my plate. I couldn't possibly add someone as handsome as you, honey. You sure you can handle all this? Of course. I really use... Oh, wait. I really could use some lemonade. Some more lemonade, ma'am. I hate it when they call me ma'am. It makes me feel so old. I can stay if you really need it. No, go. I can handle this. Great. You ready to go, Max? Get yeah, Max. After you. Get the fuck out. I got a, you know, a restaurant to be running here, bitch. Lemonade, ma'am. Bitch, I'm coming. Coming right up, y'all. Can't stand the impatient, ho. A few hours later, it was getting pretty late at night, and my shift was finally ending. The cafe was pretty empty and I only had a few tables left to clean. I was ready to go to Rose's and shower and eat. I'm starving. I think you missed the spot. Boy, what are you thinking up on people? Don't do that. You scared me. <laughs> How could I possibly scare you? You're We're in a public place. <laughs> Serial killers kill in public places. It's not just murderers at home. Um, you scare me a little bit. Uh, you scare me a little bit, Dove. In a good way. In the best possible way. Look at his motherfucking kneecaps, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, a little birdie told me that you had your first shift all by yourself today. Did that little birdie also tell you that she guilt tripped me into covering for her so she could go on a date? <laughs> the bird may have mentioned that. <laughs> Did it go alright? It was good. It went really good. I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. Are you hungry? Starving. Then I think you should come with me. Oh, really? I mean, only if you want something really good to eat. I could have something great to eat back at Rose's. <laughs> I, I can make a mean hot pocket. Not a hot pocket, bitch. Oh, and pizza rolls? <laughs> okay. I don't know if I can compete with pizza rolls. You can't. No one can. But I might be able to make an exception for you. 
I'd love to get to go get something to eat with you. Awesome. I'll wait for you outside. Can't wait. <sighs> Killian is such a sweet guy, and I think he's really into me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why can't I seem to connect with him too well to him emotionally? Well, maybe it's because I'm scared of to be vulnerable and open with anyone. I don't want to get hurt or it's something I haven't wanted to admit to myself. I can't seem to get Sean out of my head. Ugh, why? It's so stupid. Bitch, please. I don't like Sean. I hate when they force you to like somebody else. Like, I don't like Sean's ass at all. When I first met him, he was just using me to get into my good graces with his, well, to get into good graces with his father. And now, no, I don't know. Something happens inside of me whenever I see him. It's like my soul starts to let in light. Bitch, what? No, I don't feel that way about Sean. I'm sorry. I can't connect with you on that, girl. Fuck. My dark soul accepts the light for once. It doesn't scare me. I can't have him, though. I don't even know if I want him. You don't, girl. Maybe this connection is something else. Maybe I'm losing my damn mind. Maybe he might be your goddamn brother or something. Shit, the way his fucking father acted. I should have a psych uh, evaluation. A psychiatric evaluation. I'm really going insane. I better get out of here before Killian thinks something's up. 24 hour coffee so why you closing the place up bitch that took you a while uh got a little held up it's okay are you ready to go for sure and where are you taking me some five star restaurant not exactly but i think you're really you'll really like this food where we're going okay bitch come on let's go you always got a goddamn cigarette. Why are you got on goddamn basketball shorts? The Gray Hotel. Okay. Okay. Why exactly are we in a hotel in your hotel room? Well, your little speech back at the diner gave me a good idea. Bitch. Are we gonna eat hot pockets and pizza rolls? <laughs> Well, actually, I don't have Hot Pockets, but I do have ramen. Even better. To the kitchen. I can't believe... I can't believe you have pizza rolls. I didn't think rich boys ate these. Everyone loves things with stuffed pizza toppings, regardless of class. <laughs> I guess. You have the prettiest laugh I've ever heard. Um, I could feel the tension rising between us. Uh, I knew he wanted to kiss me again. It was written all over his face. A part of me wanted to kiss him too. So badly. Eh? But I didn't want to rush rush things. I didn't want to lead him on if I wasn't sure he was what I wanted. What I needed. What am I going to do? Bitch! Ah! kiss him bitch fuck you mean i don't like sean <sighs> i bit my lip and, rise, and raised my hand to his cheek that i did that did it oh, well that did it mm -hmm. <laughs> Killian <laughs> gave me tingles all over my whole body i was covered from in goosebumps from head to toe but it felt uh, what? Well, I felt that same with Jordan. Mm -mm. My mind was all over the place and Killian could sense it. He placed his hand at the base of my neck and redirected my attention to his lips. Man, he had the softest lips. <laughs> who, the, who the fuck? Are you expecting someone else? <laughs> right. No, not at all. Okay, who the hell is this? What the hell do you want? It better not be Jordan stalking ass. That's all I got to say. I do not have time for his. Okay. That look like your father or something. Hello, son. Mac. Hey, turn up, Mac. <laughs> okay. What are you doing here, Dad? You're not happy to see your old man? You're only here when I'm in trouble. Well, did you do something that would get you in trouble? Not that anyone would know about. <laughs> okay. 
And uh, all right, I know he's gonna ask who I was just because I bust out fucking laughing. And who do we have here? Someone who thinks your smart ass jokes are funny. I see. <laughs> um, I can speak for my goddamn self. I'm Dove Kennedy. I'm a friend of your son's. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Gray. Friendly. Are you here just to make my friend uncomfortable? Of course not. Um, I came to find out why you spent $100,000 at Ridgeview Prep. What? A school you don't even go to. What? I can explain. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hope you like this chapter. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for updates and sneak peeks. <laughs> what? That's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Okay. All right. Um. Okay, guys. As you can tell, I'm shocked. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at that. God.